Welcome to Spain on a Fork. Today we're making open-faced fried calamari sandwiches with a saffron alioli. <laughs> That's kind of a long title, but seriously guys, this is one of the most amazing tapas ever. It has an amazing flavor to it, and the saffron alioli just takes it to the next level of greatness. This is what Spanish tapas are all about. Easy to make, have an amazing flavor to them, and they're a lot of fun to eat. Now to make this recipe, I'm gonna be using some clean tubes of squid, easily found here in Spain. If you can't get them that easily in your area, check with a local Asian supermarket. They almost always have them in the freezer department. Why do I always bring up that thing about the Asian supermarket? Because I remember when I was in Southern California, I used to go to one in the city of Garden Grove and they always had them, so go check that out. Also for this recipe, get yourself a nice and crunchy baguette. Hear that? Very important. It's kind of like the movie uh, the, from Disney, Ratatouille. Very important, use a good bag, it makes all the difference in the world. And last but not least for that saffron alioli, do not use imitation saffron, use a high quality saffron, like the one I'm using from Golden Saffron. This is truly some grade one premium saffron. I highly recommend it worth every penny and it takes every dish to the next level of greatness, including this saffron alioli. Link in the description box below where you guys can get this. All right folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by finely mincing a couple cloves of garlic. Adding them into a mortar. Pinch in about half a teaspoon of saffron threads. And pound down on the garlic and the saffron until you form a paste. Then I'm gonna add one organic egg yolk at room temperature. Squeeze in about half a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Season it with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Then I'm gonna start stirring the mixture and start slowly adding in about half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And remember to mix this continuously as you're pouring in the olive oil. This is very important. Once you've added your half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and you've ended up with this beautiful mayonnaise-like consistency, this saffron alioli is ready to go. Cover it with some saran wrap and add it to the fridge. Next up, we've got the baguette. Very important to use a serrated knife when you're cutting the bread, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna cut this into diagonal slices that are about an inch thick. Before we get to the squid, I'm gonna grab about one cup of all-purpose flour, add it into a plastic bag, and pour in about one teaspoon of sea salt. And mix it together until it's well combined. Okay guys, we're moving on to the squid. I've got two clean tubes of squid here. These are still frozen, that is okay. I'm gonna rinse them under some cold running water, then pat them down with some paper towels and cut them into rings that are about half an inch thick. While you're cleaning the tubes of squid, make sure you open them up and let that cold water run in there. Now the reason why we're using frozen and we didn't completely thaw them out is because it gives them a better texture and they hold a lot better when you're making fried calamari. Make sure you pat them down with some paper towels, but you don't have to dry them completely. That way that flour mixture can really stick to it. And I always like to cut them in half inch rings. This is the perfect size. Now I'm gonna add the squid rings into the bag with the all-purpose flour and the sea salt. And mix it together until each squid ring is perfectly coated. This is a great way to coat your squid rings. Why? Because it evenly coats each one and it doesn't create a huge mess. All right, let's start cooking our squid rings. Grab a small fry pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add half a cup of sunflower oil. You can use any type of neutral oil that you like. After heating the oil for about three minutes, I'm gonna start adding the squid rings into the pan. You wanna cook this in batches. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna go between a minute and a half to two minutes per side. And as you're finishing each batch of the fried calamari, transfer them to a dish with some paper towels. And continue to cook this in batches until all the calamari are done.
And I'm telling you, the aromas right now coming out of this pan are absolutely amazing. Okay, let's start assembling our dish. I'm gonna spread some of the saffron alioli into each slice of bread. Do this liberally, as this saffron alioli really gives these open-faced sandwiches an incredible flavor. Then I'm gonna add some of the fried calamari on top of each piece of bread. And I'm gonna garnish it with a couple chives. Oh my goodness, this looks unbelievable. Let's try it and see how it tastes. Here we go. Wow, that is so incredible. The fried calamari are perfectly fried. Beautiful texture to the squid. And that saffron alioli just lifts the, all the flavors. I don't know what to say. This is so amazing. You guys saw this. Very easy to make. The perfect appetizer for any occasion. Or you can even serve these as a main course next to a salad. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.